What's up? So this video is a little different than my normal videos. I was struggling with disk space on my Mac and when I would try to put videos into my iMovie I'd come up with this error and I finally figured it out so I figured I'd make a tutorial about it. If you're getting the error there's not enough disk space at the selected destination when you try to add media files to your iMovie you want to follow this tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is open up your finder window then go to Devices and go to your MacBook. Mine says Marissa's MacBook Pro. Click that, and then you want to go into your Users folder, and then you want to find your Movies folder. And in that, you'll see Movie Library. And you can actually see just how much storage is being taken up by these iMovie libraries. Mine was taking up a total of like 175 gigabytes. So right-click, click Show Package Contents, and then you'll see all your projects. So click on one of the projects, click on Original Media, and those are all the original MP4s. So that's a lot of storage. Now before I did anything with deleting these things, I made sure I backed up all of my project folders, the full project folders, to a Passport external hard drive. Just make sure you're backing up your stuff if you think you'll need it again. And once you've backed up all those full project folders, you can start putting them in the trash. So there's a couple more steps after this. So put everything in the trash, and then what you want to do is empty your trash. So once your trash has been fully emptied, you want to go back into iMovie, click the movie library that you deleted from, and there's going to be a prompt that pops up. It'll say your iMovie library has been damaged. Just click repair and that's it. Now everything you deleted is gone and you've freed up a lot of space. Leave a comment if you have any questions and subscribe if you found this tutorial helpful.